just a second Sir, am I audible, sir? Am I audible? Yes, sir. It's fine. Okay. Sorry for the glitch. No, Hello, no, pet parents. Me... Okay. This is Neharika from PetFed India, your host for today. And as promised, we are here with a very interesting topic of discussion. All you need to know about vehicles. Beagles are undoubtedly a great companion for kids and adults alike. But don't let their small size and undeniable charm mislead you, for these dogs are still born to be hunters. Their noses guide them through life, and they're never happier than when following an interesting scent. If you're a proud parent of a beagle or are looking to gain some knowledge about the breed before getting one, then you are at the right place. For we have a lot of interesting facts and traits about them to share with all of you today. To do the same, I would like to welcome our expert guest for today, Mr. Amrit S. Hiranya, popularly, uh, popularly known as Amrit Dog Guru, India's only dog behaviorist from Unitech, New Zealand. Hi, Amrit. How are you today? Hi, doing good. Hope all are doing good. Lockdowns have opened. Yes. A good plan to take a dog yeah. out for a walk. <laughs> great, sir. Great. Uh, for those of you who don't know him yet, uh, Amrit is also the appointed advisor for the Police Dog Squad of Karnataka and has been a consultant to the Railway Protection Force. His other accolades include being first in Asia to achieve Australian Dog Whisperer Award and being first Asian to deliver a TED Talk on canine behavior. It's always great having you, Amrit. Thank you. Same here. Are we ready for another interesting session then? Yes. All right. So people who are watching us, please feel free to drop in any queries that you may have about vehicles in the comment section below. And as always, we will surely answer all of them for you. People who are joining us just now, we are here to discuss the topic, all you need to know about vehicles. So if you have any questions, please do drop them in the comment section below and we will get them answered for you. Till then, I think let us begin with the basic understanding of this very special breed and improve our knowledge further about beagles. First things first, Amrit, can you please tell us about how beagles came into origin and how they have evolved to become such a popular breed in most of the households? Right, see, beagles are probably one of the very, very oldest of breeds. They've been there from before Christ. So it's like the BCs, yeah. not even... So, Earlier, their schools of thought that clearly says that uh, it was in Greece that they first found them. They were the hunting dogs in Greece. I'm talking about almost the earlier, even before the 10th century. Okay. That that old. Though when we when we read about on uh, about the beagle on Google or other uh, books that has the breed standards, they do clearly identify it from the 18th and 19th century. But there have okay. been very old studies that goes up to 8th and 9th century where uh, they, they, we had something called a tollbard hound. The tollbard hound was used for hunting when bred with greyhounds. There came another breed of dogs called the southern hounds. Now, these southern hounds is the basic and the main origin of beagles today, today's beagle, because there is a lot of uh, changes that happened, which I'm going to go into. So the southern hound much later in France is when it uh, turned out to be named as beagle. Those southern hounds were diff de when beagles came into existence from southern hound also, we had four types of beagles. It wasn't just one. We had four types of beagles there. So there, why the name beagle? Because in French, bragai means open throat. So beagles are the only dogs who have, who have different voice modulations, different ways of barking. When I mean that, they could just do a bow, bow, bow when there's someone at the door. They could do the bow howling if and when required. But when you see beagles in a pack and they are going to do the hunt or they're chasing a rabbit or they're chasing even a ball today, then the noise they make is very different. So they have a very, a very open throat. We call it as an open throat. So when they're running, okay. the throat opens that way. That's one way why beagles are called that. There's another school of thought that the beagles are called beagles because of the musical instrument bugle. That also makes an like bow sort right. of a howl that they do. 
there is a third school of thought that say beagles are called beagle because it's like a bag when beagles tail is up and head is up it's just like a bag that you carry and they were small so when i was telling that they were small and they were hunting groups we had four types of beagle one was this toy beagle or the pocket beagle they were like miniature pinchers or chihuahua not today's you you can't even compare very small beagles so they they were called the miniature beagles or the chihuahua beagle the chihuahua size ones then we had the rough coat beagles we had the rough coat beagles miniature beagles fox beagle and the normal beagle the normal beagle is what we look at today so they they were the three four ones miniature beagles and all stopped long ago when when hunting became extinct miniature beagles stopped off around 1830s exactly during the 1830s is when a gentleman by name is mr philip he started the first breeding program of beagles he selected so when i said there were four he selected the best among them that is what we see today so he selected those and started breeding them the first breeding ever program documented program was in 1830 by a gentleman by name mr philip even then we had the smooth and the rough both of that the selection of the smooth that from the european countries came to the us was in 1870 by general richardson rover so he got the smooth coated one in 1870 much later after the america were, americans were convinced with the breed they love the breed today is one of the most popular breed in 1884 is when the american kennel club recognized the breed 1884 is when we got in the breed standards for them their height the color the snout the tail and uh, their movement their physical body structures and then the smooth coated today's beagle was an american kennel club registered breed in 1884 that's uh, brief about their origin so uh, it's really hard to believe that they they be, uh, belong to the harm groups and were raised to be hunters given their small size and uh, since they were raised to be hunting dogs can you also tell us what purpose they serve now uh, in this 21st century see we all have to understand and accept that they were hunters they are hunters even today when beagle okay. owners or people were planning to go for a beagle come back and tell that they pull on a leash do they are small dogs it's not that we trip and fall or whenever beagles are left open in your doors are open apartment doors your uh, gates of bungalows if it is open there is a 100% chance of a beagle running away this is something every beagle owner must be very careful about because like you rightly said neharika that uh, the smell they follow the scent they are the best scenting dogs so for them if they get something which is more interesting in the scent rather than the recaller recaller could be the owner could be the trainer could be the handler and i have a treat so probably i have a biscuit with me and the scent that this beagle today's beagle got was more interesting than the biscuit then i'm sure the dogs not going to come back okay and they would not bother about traffic they would not bother about anything else but just run out so it's not that they escape they they olfactory bulbs are much much better developed and they ears the 7 inch ears helps them a lot because the scent that hits their head does not go out it stops it stopped by the ears and they get it back for them for a more concentration of the scenting so today the hunting which is actually the very very important feature of a beagle he is still a hound he is still a hunter you is utilized canalized to utilize them as sniffer dogs even 10 years ago in uh, 2010 1300 plus beagles were used across us the united states for uh, narcotic detection explosive detection food animal and uh, plant product detection because a lot of countries have a concern like probably the we could say the pacific islands fiji new zealand australia uh, uh, samoa they do not they have something called map ministry of agriculture and forestry they do not allow plant and animal products to enter their country without permission it could be just a friend of yours who is in new zealand and you want to send him a peacock feather so they would not allow things further because that could carry a lot of virus and other things that these people or bacterial infection that they are very very concerned about so beagles are the best thing. again the hunting ability in them who is the one that makes them run who is the one that makes them destructive is the one that makes them bark is the one that makes them howl is the one that today has made them the best working dogs as well they are the best in narcotic detection explosive detection in fact the first pilot batch of covid detection dogs across the globe also have had beagles in the group 
That is so interesting. That is really interesting. So since you mentioned that beagles have been appointed as scent detection dogs in search and rescue operations as well, uh, can you tell us if beagles are playing any significant roles in Indian forces as well? We have, we have. It's not very high in number. We do have because right. we in India would more prefer more of deterrence, and then comes detection. So here, uh, and we use uh, say dual uh, special uh, specialized dogs. So they could be assault dogs as well as explosive detection or narcotic dogs and tracking. So considering that the number is less, but then yes, we do have beagles. They have been very successful national level police meets. There have been several times that narcotics, either a cocker spaniel or the beagle, who are almost the same in the working ability, are the ones who win out. Okay, okay. interesting to know. Uh, I think we have a first question uh, here. So Anuranan Kumar is asking, I have an old beagle, 11 year old now, and I want to know how can we take better care of him since since he's getting very dull and inactive lately. Inactivity. See, basically, like everything, uh, it's, it's like the sunrise and the sunset. Beagles are born with super hyper energy. They are always energetic. So, if it's a family who's even thinking of adopting a beagle, until and unless you're a family of active people, you do not want to sit on a couch. You don't want to sit on and watch Netflix, Amazon, or be on your office calls. You're ones who go cycling, who go running, or at least you have an acre of a space around then beagles would, it would be very difficult managing them. Now, the same way as they go, get older and older, the activity level, like our uh, the commenter just asked, so activity level reduces, give them clean, nice walks, preferably not on star road, not on concrete roads. So let the walks be on either mud or sand. Even if you have a small patch of it nearby, walk them up and down the same place because a lot of boning concerns come up with aging of beagles. Walking on green grass naturally helps them a lot to control their concerns. Exercise is a must, without which they'll put on a lot of weight. Dogs, beagles specifically, who get to dog guru school, most of them are for arthritis, diabetes, obesity, hydrotherapy, and things like that. So we need to see to it that you control the weight of your dog. That's very, very important. Because as we have beagles and they're super energetic, if we are not able to give them the enough exercise, enough is what? They do not get tired at all. That's one other reason why in the Indian police we don't use them too much is because we have a loss that we have to stop working at eight hours or after every one or two hours we need to give them a break, which is very well suited for German Shepherds, Dobermans, Labrador and today Malinbas, Belgian Shepherds. Whereas for beagles, they can work 20 hours at a stretch. They do not get tired. They're highly food driven dogs. So in airports, like I mentioned, airport, airport, why narcotic or airports? Because there is baggage. Every flight has at least two tractor loads of baggage, bags that come in. So how many flights come in? And how many dogs? We're not going to have 100 dogs in an airport. An international airport would have probably four or five dogs. So every dog is at least at least checking up to a lakh bag a day. So that's the amount of energy that you get in that lovely looking pup home. So if we do not, if we do not have ways of utilizing the energy, he will show he or she will surely run out if it's not gated because okay. they are driven by their scent they are driven by their scent and even during walking or other things they need free place to run around so across the globe especially in developed countries we have a law that if you want to be a, a beagle owner then you must spend at least four hours every week in a off-leash park where your dog is left off-leash okay. and the dog gets to zoom out run 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 two three acres of off-leash park play with other dogs, it's very important that they get that much of running. If not, what happens? They are these cuddly, uh, cute puppies or dogs of ours. They'll start barking and they'll howl a lot because they are known for their scenting and their open throat. So that could be a lot of concern for your neighbors. So when we do co uh, classes and talk about when people are deciding on a breed, you should look at your social and physical affordability, where what we normally do in India today we look at the financial affordability. That's not how it goes. We have to identify that that life we are going to bring in. Who will be healthily, happily with us for the next 12 to 14 years? What is that they require? Can we give them optimum exercise? Do we have a big yard? Beagle for an apartment would never be happy. Beagles are dogs who would always require a bare minimum of an acre land around your house to run around, open farmlands, 
great dogs for farm farm dogs great for hunting even today yeah. rats rodents rabbits any small animal they're great at hunting and they still have it in them no we are today we look at a lot of our facebook and instagram posts of friends putting the 5k run the 10k run the 25k cycling which is today in the trend so people who are actively present in that part and they see to yeah. that every day an hour we do running an hour we do cycling that's the best breed for you because the dog will be happily running with you every day in rain without rain however it is oh. they're happy to be there running so you could get them train them to be along if not at least a treadmill if you already have a puppet home okay. and you're facing their behavioral concerns in a treadmill running at least is very important for them okay i think nepony sekhia here has shared a similar concern he's uh, shared that he doesn't his beagle doesn't come back to him if i let him go off the leash i just answered that so what yeah. do we do we we will need to we have to increase our value in the head of the right. beagle but the scent he is getting now the scent he has got if he is a male then any other female dog is the most interesting thing on earth for any dog compared to the owner back home because we give them so much of love and affection we flood them with love and affection that they stop valuing us so every time you need to let your dog off in closed counters with gardens which is enclosed recall train a lot of recalling for them we have online offline courses to be available that helps you to teach your dog to come back on a call in closed gated environment once the dog is very good at it you will have to practice it every day okay that it becomes a classical conditioning that every time sorry every time there is a reason for the dog to run out he has to come back to you on a call another concern for us is big like i said one they are short so they get the ground scent faster that's why search and rescue if there are earthquakes on snow where there are landslides if somebody somebody living or dead is hidden there why beagles are the best to source out because of the short uh, okay. legs they are able to get the ground scent easily and they can scent faster and easier similarly this is though a positive thing for a pet who does not get exercise it also works on the negative thing so for uh, not negative for the dog but for us like you rightly said you open your door you let him off leash he gets a scent that's more interesting than you he will go off and never come back or it's difficult to get them back and anything and everything for a dog is more uh, attractive than the owner or their attention okay. because this is what they get maximum so, okay so what are we supposed to do smart humans versus honest dogs honest dogs give us unconditional love we will have to give them conditional love so it's only every time you want to pet your dog you want to hug your dog pick up your dog cuddle your dog call them call them and move away from them don't call and go to them call them move away run away say you are in the living room run to the kitchen he knows he's going to get something to eat he is a food driven dog so get there pick him up so he needs to know that every time they call they run away not run behind me so that's another easy way to teach them recall okay so i think Still before there, we move on sorry yeah. sir Still yeah. they are so perfect before we move on to next question okay me first Okay. till they are perfect with the recall use a long leash you can use a 10 feet 20 feet leash make your own leash you don't have to purchase them also any strong rope that easily does not cut off see to that you put them on a body body belt when you're teaching them the recall so that they don't get choked so let your dog run around 10 20 meters with you but you still have the control on the leash that's important while you're training because we don't want somebody to go train it without a leash and it runs away especially in india where traffic is is a menace we can't take a chance of a dog running out of the door yes niharika please go ahead all right so um like i was saying before moving on to the next questions that we have uh, i would quickly like to announce the first trivia question that we have for our audience today uh, the first trivia question for you guys is what quality are the beagles best known for your option 1 is sense of taste and option 2 is sense of smell So we will be announcing three uh, trivia questions. All of those who answer all of the three questions correctly will get a Purina hamper for them and their dogs. So I will repeat the question once again. The question one is: What quality are the beagles best known for? Your option one is sense of taste, and option two is sense of smell. Those of you who know the correct answer, quickly type in the comments below. So uh, let's move on to the next question, sir. 
uh, beagles are definitely a very common sight in our country and everyone wants uh, this loving breed but how can we actually make a rational decision if a beagle is suitable for our home or not beagles are great with children so if you have children but they are more than their teenage or at the middle of the teen we would not recommend beagles for small children below 10 below 12 years only because they would not bite them they would not harm them they love them more than a parent could but because the children are short and so is the dog they would want to stand up on the child that could knock the child out one and they're super hyperactive they will take everything and run around which could trouble the child later mouthing is in their blood so they would take up everything in their mouth keep on picking everything in their mouth but taking the products of the child in the mouth and salivating them this could be concerned okay. so if you if you have children who are more than uh, in the teens that's the best breed you can get to yes every beagle owner can socialize their dog with smaller children it's not that they own it they could socialize it with their neighbors or others so that they have good well socialized they they good dogs you can always trust a child with a beagle provided you're there along with them so that the beagle doesn't knock them down of accident not aggression beagles are not aggressive dogs they are mostly not dogs who you need to be worried about and even the toys and things that they pick up they are dogs who would want to give away easily they were not bred basically for baiting and things like a bulldog that you know i don't want to give it back bulldogs are more possessive not well as a more possessive so uh, it's not the same with beagles they are happy giving it away as well in exchange to a treat they are food driven dogs the so families who want to go for a beagle either if your apartment that should be the last in your uh, list but you are an athlete we do our exercises every day probably we have a tennis court next to us we go play tennis couple of hours so i get a ground to with the dog to run if and only if you are a very active family beagles are the best suited for you if not what is it suited for farms farm houses estates holiday homes people today are moving out to the suburbs outside the city limits they have bigger places Co- covered villas gated communities these are places where you can go for a beagle not for apartments because your neighbors would have a concern if they are expecting to be a silent dog beagles are very vocal they are the biggest vocal of dogs and they have different modulations of vocaling that could be a concern so when i talk about physical and social Now, affordability. If your neighbors want a peaceful surrounding, then beagles are not something for you. And if you are a lazy person, then this is not a dog for you. I don't have beagles. You know the answer why? Right? I have masters who would sit next to me on the couch <laughs> and comfort me. No, lazy people. Beagles not a dog for you. Active people, people athletes, runners, the ones who Iron Man, decathlon, what is it? Marathon runners. these are people who at least make it a habit that once in four days they do a half an hour one hour jog outside this is the best dog you can have or people on the coastal side could be mumbai could be other coastal regions you want to you have an apartment facing the ocean you want to take your dog for a swim then that's the best way they're coating their they they compared to other dogs it's very less of grooming they require probably a alternative day of grooming that you remember but that they are furry dogs so their fur falls 365 days So people who are allergic to fur go for a longer-haired dog rather than a short furry dog. Fur do- fur drops out all during the year. Hair drops only during okay. season. Okay, understood. Understood. Uh, so we have a question from Shama Prasad here, and uh, he's asking, "I wanted to adopt one, but I have read a lot about their behavioral issues. Can you please suggest what to do?" Mr. Prasad, if you are good at running, if you have a cycle that you use, they are the best. Forget. See, any behavioral concern about any dog, it is because we are not able to respect the breed in them. We only love the dog. We don't respect. So, if you respect a beagle, then you will have to give them exercise. You give them exercise, you will have no behavioral concerns. Neither would you ever have to consult a behaviorist like me. Give them exercise, you will have a lovely companion. If you are not able to give them exercise, but you have a big yard around. then they have a good gala time there hunting for birds i'm sure the birds would fly out so it's not that it's going to kill your bird or kill a bird there but yeah they get enough place to run around they need a lot of running around place and that's not something a 2 or 3 bhk could give them it's a garden out a yard out or if you have a farmland then they are the best dogs for you right 
So since we, he also mentioned, uh, but are there any peculiar behavioral traits that beagles have, or are there any concerns in this uh, behavioral aspect for beagles? They do not have anything peculiar. We call it peculiar because they have an open throat. So they're howling, they howl a lot. So in India, we have a custom or we have a belief that if a dog's howling or crying, then there's going to be death somewhere and stuff like that. Do I believe it? Yes, I believe it. But it need not always be a human death. A dog howling, please talk to your neighbors, beagle owners, if your dog is howling and they have a death in somewhere in Chennai or in China of their relative, they come back and just because your dog is crying, my, my relative passed away. A dog would cry even if a cockroach dies because it's a natural animal. Dog would also cry if there's a bird on the tree that dies off tomorrow which, because there is a bonding in their ecosystem. They are they know a lot of animals and insects and other things which we don't know. Okay. So a dog howling need not be only because of a death in the house. But then yeah, that's what called peculiar because they bark a lot, they howl a lot and they are destructive. Barking, howling, destructive nature in them is a result of you not giving them exercise, not the dog. So if you are able to give them good exercise, they will just come back home, relax next to the couch, a beautiful dog to have. Great companions too. Uh, so uh, what kind of physical traits and appearances and their characteristics are the most ideal for a beagle? Beagle, they are, they come tricolored normally, they are uh, uh, due, the, Double colored dogs also, they're very rare though. They're normally tri-colored tri is a normal thing. Energy wise, like it's there on the screen, they're high energetic. They are moderate shedders with short coat. So we, do, we just spoke about that. 10 to 15 okay. years lifespan. Now who's, in whose hand is it to, to get that cute looking dog live for 15 years? It's in our hand as far as, like we understand they're high energetic dog. We need to give them a lot of exercise, exercise, exercise again. So friendly, yes. Curious, yes. Merry dog, yes. So because they are friendly and they are curious, give them good exercise and then you have a merry time with them. That's how it works. So only concerns that people complain is because they cover their failure putting it on the dog. If somebody is going to tell you that don't go for a vehicle because they bark a lot, please tell them yeah. back that you haven't given him enough exercise. Rather than complaining on the vehicle, give him exercise and then see, you're going to have a friendly, curious and a merry go dog. They're going to be very happy, comfortable dogs. They're short dogs. Easily you can transport them. You can carry them in your cars, in your two wheelers with less comfort, uh, with uh, less uh, concerns with okay. ease. But you'll have to train them to be on a two wheeler because again, they are nose driven. So on the two wheeler, if you let them without a leash, you stop at the signal, they find a small scent of something that's more interesting than you, then they're going to bullet. Okay. Okay. Understood. Uh, so, short, uh, a little... easy maintenance, very less of grooming requirements, and their food also. You could stick to formula diets. Give them; okay. they don't. They, they they're not very expensive eaters. They don't require a lot of food. They just require as much as the size. Is. They eat less. They good. They love to eat a lot, but then the quantity is always less. So they are food driven dogs. Training them is not very difficult. You can do a good bit of obedience at the right age with treats. So you'll have an obedient dog. But the key thing for it would be as they're high driven, nose driven, and hunting dog in them first exercise. Okay. okay. So we have one question from Padmavati Mystery here, and she's asking Do beagles gel well with babies? I've heard they are a very possessive breed. Beagles do gel very well with babies, but again, as far as you are able to give them good exercise, then they're going to rest beside the baby and take care of the baby. Allow the baby to pull their ears, pull the tail and not react to it. But after exercise, if there's no exercise given, they will take everything of the baby, the diaper and run away, the feeding bottle run away, do destructive things. Every time you put the baby to sleep and the beagle will ring an alarm, bow and the baby is up. So these are concerns. If we okay. as a pet parent, like how we think about the baby we have, the human child, we also have to think about this particular breed or any other dog we are bringing in. Can we afford this particular dog's physical behavior? Can we give him the enough space? Or if like ma'am said, she's got a big garden outside, go for a beagle, very much. If you have a small child, it's even better you go for a female. Please do remember, they get the, get onto their menstrual cycle, heat cycle once or twice a year. 
unlike male dogs who are scent obedient and the moment they get a female scent they'll run but a female dog would not run for a male it could run for something more interesting could be food or could be a rat could be a rabbit something like that but not otherwise so if you have if you have a child at home and you want a beagle and you can give them good exercise then go for a female because the tolerance level of female is much higher like they also are they possessive females are possessive but they would take the best care of the child as well so sweet uh, before we move on to the uh, next questions i would quickly like to announce the second trivia question that we have from the uh, for the audience today so the second trivia question is what is the most common coloring for beagles your option 1 is white black light brown and option 2 is golden black and gray so i'll repeat the question what is the most common coloring for beagles option 1 white black light brown option 2 golden black gray so those who know the correct answer please quickly type them in the comment section below and like i announced earlier three lucky winners who answer all the questions correctly will get a purina hamper for themselves and the dogs okay we have a uh, question from chinmay desai amrit uh, he is asking they are said to be truly horrible with separation anxiety how to deal with it in be again i'll go back to the, the questions are different answers are same they are super active dogs they would not have a concern if they are separated from the owners or they are left alone at home with big yards they need a lot of running around they will keep themselves busy digging mud pulling out plants probably looking out for a rat or a rodent or something like that trying for a bird you can keep them busy as far as it's a farm land if they are they in a house in an apartment or a small house and people without giving them good exercise leave the house and go for work then they would have separation anxiety it's also preferred for any breed of a dog more for a beagle to separate them from their mothers at least after their 70 to 80 days so they learn a lot of biting nibbling howling toilet habits from the mother so there is you don't have to pay much to the trainer to do the toilet training and biting habits that works out from the mother and the mother is the best teacher for them dogs separated from the mother before 40 45 days would always have separation anxiety regardless of what we do but beagles they need there's highly active dogs so they need a lot of open space to run around if you have a big yard you leave them and go they're not going to bark they're not going to be bothered they would still be running around happily moving around there with other animals or birds which you don't have to own it could be a bird on the tree that you don't own it could be a crow <clears throat> but still they will start following their shadow and they'll smell the food they'll smell something that has fallen down they'll search for it they'll be very busy and active in my provided they get a lot of space if not they need a lot of exercise both of this when given after separating from the mother once they're more than 70 80 days you would have a lovely companion and no complaints all right uh, so we have another question from nipunya setia and he's asking is it really important to get my beagle neutered if he is a male and uh, you do not have a female with you getting them neutered will help them to live longer if you remember the slide 10 to 15 years most of unneutered dog end up at most of unneutered dog in their life between 8 to 10 years neutered dog always lives up to 12 13 14 years until and unless they have another genetical disorder or a concern with beagles the biggest problem is like i said people come to our dog who is poor only for weight treatment swimming 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 only because they have arthritis they can't run they are already obese okay. and they have bony problems and post sterilization or neutering they put on more and more weight so exercising your dog there is the key thing so getting him neutered would help you to sort out a lot of behavioral issues but the new issue that would drop in or come in would be the weight management so as far as your beagle is slim and trim and gets good exercise get only food that suits the exercise just because we can't give them enough exercise and they're bar- barking for that we start feeding them and they're food driven dogs they'll keep on and on and on eating that will end up with obesity then you'll give them an obesity diet keep feeding them on that that will concern with something else so end up with something else exercise if you are like i mentioned if you are inactive lazy like me beagles are not a dog thing understand understand uh, we have another question from priyanka here and she is asking is it really important or mandatory to add meat to their diet if you are non vegetarians 
yes, it is important to add meat to the diet. Vegetarians or people who are unable to cook meat every day, you have to bring a pro plan there for you. The reason being, you look at the two things. A lot of people do tell me that, uh, sir, uh, I'm a Brahmin, I'm a vegetarian, so I use Purina program because I can't cook meat at home. Similarly, what happens here is that there is a lot of research that gets into uh, of foods like Purina because, yes, on the bag you have pumpkin, you have pomegranate, you have something else. But people think, why do we have to buy that? We will only give pumpkin and pomegranate. Right. That they will not be able to digest. The easiest way to understand how much of vegetables are good for your dog, give them a piece of carrot. Look at their poop, you'll have grated carrot that's come off, which clearly identifies that they cannot process it. Best thing, see, you look at the canines, that shows the teeth. Why do they have long teeth? If they were supposed to eat curd rice, then they wouldn't have had their have teeth like mine. See, I eat curd rice, right? So it would turn out to be like that. They have canines to tear. They still have it. So they are not yet evolved. Yes, from wolf, they're a dog, from dog, so a human dog that the canines have gone in, they're becoming smaller and smaller day by day. Yes, because they don't have to hunt and tear, but still that the breed is there. That's why they have the canines that are there, the grinding teeth like that. Looking at that, it easily tells you that they require meat. But if you're not able to feed meat, you can feed them the formula diet because there's a lot of research that goes in labs across the world on how to get the normal food to be processed and given in a way that it does best to the dog. Understood. Very well explained, sir. Uh, since we are already on the topic of food, uh, can you please tell us about the nutritional requirements of vegans in general? Nutritional requirements are directly proportional to the exercise. So if you're giving them a lot of exercise, you give them a lot of food. If you're giving them less exercise, less of food. And the chart here explains it even easier. So below two months, it is up to four when they say free feed. I would suggest six meals at one month, get to four or five meals by the time they're two months. And after two months, it will be four meals. So one to two months, it's five meals. And then it's four meals a day. That's how you would break it for them. But start exercise once they're three months and it will go throughout their life. See to it that the meals per day, they're very clearly mentioned two meals. What does two meals mean? It is two times of energy intake. Sir, we give our dog only two meals, dog guru, two meals of Purina Pro Plan we give, and then 25 meals of carrot, mari biscuit, glucal biscuit, <laughs> parli ji, gurke, egg. Hum chai pi rahe na, wo aisa dekh raha tha, to hume laga ki usko bhi chahiye. To hum thoda chai bhi de diye. So these are your other meals. What makes your dog fat is not what's there in the screen. Meal in the bowl is the only thing that should go as the energy intake. Multiple feeds could be a small piece of a treat that also is an energy flow to them. Okay. Keep only two meals. And all this is given, this, considering you will give them exercise. Right. This is right. for a, the, the Purina program from Europe and US and all of the research that is done would be very clear with exercise because they have not mentioned the exercise. They're considering that responsible owner will be giving enough exercise. So we will feed... Free, actually, most of the beagles today in India are free fed only. So they get food anytime they want because they look at the owner. They're like, ha, two hours I was on an office call, no? Chalo, I'll give you something to eat. So rather than giving them uh, energy output of exercise, we give them a lot of food. You control your food. Your, the dog's going to be very, very healthy and very happy. Exercise, food, activity, especially. See, you look at the puppy there. The puppy is going to sit quietly doing nothing because he has to grow. But as you look at the other one there, you... Even in the picture, tail raised high, eye looking out, he's like, where do I run? What do I chase? What do I hunt? What do I bring back? What can I bite? You look at that activeness in them. You would hardly find a dog who is inactive and sleeping until and unless they are aged. So for their activity, give them enough of exercise. People who are not able to give exercise. They are either way good with their scenting. The same Purina program, you can hide them in your garden. Hide them in your house. Let them go find, find and eat. That also is an activity for their head. That keeps them busy. Okay. Okay. So we have one more question from Chinmay Desai, and he's asking, what would be the correct age for neutering and spaying for beagles? A veterinary doctor would be the right person to answer that. With my experience, I would suggest nine to eleven months normally, because post neutering, lot of dogs height and length. 
my observation uh, gives me a guidance that height and length does not increase much after that as they should have been so we don't want see we don't want to go back to evolution to the 17th century to get a miniature a beagle a pocket beagle in wait till 9 to 11 months so they've grown good in height and length then get a doctor to do the needful they will check and tell you yes, they're healthy they fit go ahead with it so a, a little lesser known fact about beagles is that they can be found in a large variety of colors. Can you tell us a little more about their pigmentation and color changes? See, the concern only we would have if they're too much of white. That's getting towards okay. albino is when that could lead to deafness or blindness, things like that. Otherwise, okay. for them, they normally tricolor black, brown and white. So it is distributed during the genotype during when the embryo uh, dna does uh, replicate that is when the coloring changes they look very good mostly in tricolors but they have been even the kennel club has accepted by, by color so there's only brown and white or orange and white beetles they look beautiful they're bicolored dogs as well but single color is always a no so you can't have full brown full black full white beetles it's not accepted by the kennel club Full white, though it's never, it's a very less found, but then yeah, even a lot of white on the dog and very less of your brown or black would also show that it, it turns out to be a recessive gene. What's a recessive gene? A dog, a puppy born with very less characteristics from the father and the mother. They would have a lot of health concerns. Breeding, when you're breeding, see to it that you look at the lineage, even if they do not have papers, see to it that if you do not have the lineage, find out from where they got it. As far as they, you don't interbreed them or inbreed them because inbreeding does cause a lot of concern not only for the puppy you have to date after they're sold, but the gen, gen, their genetics. Three, three pedigree after that also. So they could have concerns for an unknown, uh, unknowingly done uh, breeding through a breeder. So breeders need to be a little cautious when they're breeding, especially these beautiful dogs like Beagle, because we don't want to buy a dog who could tomorrow fall sick. It's going to be a 10 to 15 year old happy journey. So all for the whole time. So we don't want to keep visiting the doctor for genetical, dis genetical disorders and have a concern. So tricolored beautifully like they looked the, the, the screens you showed So all of them. And because they are uh, very short coated, three times grooming in a week is a must. If you can give them every day good enough. Otherwise, at least three groomings. You could give them a wash once in 15 days, that's fair enough. Or even a month if they don't go out too much into the garden, then once in a month bathing is fair enough. Grooming is a must. Right. Because they shed a lot. So they, they, they share short hair and they shed a lot. So we don't want you to, or every time you pet them, get hair on your hands. So grooming them once in a day, specifically if you take, out, take them out for a walk and do it, it's even better. So all the dead hair falls outside. Uh, the next question that we have here is from Varnashri and she's asking, do beagles have a larger appetite compared to other small breed dogs? No, they have a larger drive. They have the drive to eat. They will never feel full. Appetite is small. They know they actually have to eat as per the Purina or the sheet we just shared, but then they are food driven. So they keep on eating if you keep on giving. That's one, one also positive sign why we take them for narcotic work. When we train a dog for narcotics, see, explosion is explosive addiction. Dogs are uh, explosion wherever there is a dog that works. There could be one explosion if the dog is unable to identify the scent, leading into several deaths. There are very less chances where there'll be a chain of bombs kept in and around the place. Because an explosion would be like our dogs, which in, in throughout our Silicon City, were malls, IT parks, companies, wherever our dog guru bomb squad dogs are working as a deterrent. So what happens here? It is one bomb or two bombs in that area. You will not have 10 bombs in the same hotel. Even if it's serial bombing, it's going to be in different parts of the city like we watch in the Bollywood movies. Similarly, narcotic dogs, when we give for uh, colleges and uh, universities, we could have one boy having LSD, cocaine and ganja or marijuana in the back. So why a beagle? Why beagle across the globe? Beagle will bark, get one treat, he will not stop because we found LSD. He will still bark. Then you check in the bag, you get cocaine. He will still bark for another treat. They will keep on barking, barking, okay. barking, finding that because the scent of the drug gets in the treat. Scent of the drug gets in the treat. So if there is one big suitcase in the airport that's found and they've got three different packets of uh, drugs, 
the dog will keep on scratching keep on barking till he gets tree 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 why do you think they are good at scenting they scent to get what they scent drugs they scent anything to get a treat food driven okay. so they drive and food so much though appetite is small they just keep on want to eat 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 and so that is what we utilize in training them to be great narcotic dogs Uh, we have another question from Priyanka, and she's asking, "What health issues are beagles generally prone to, and is it breed specific by any chance?" Breed specific, yes. You would uh, actually today, lot of hip and elbow dyslexia, which we talk about, is bred out of beagles, which means beagles with health concerns are bred very less in the last few decades. So, genetical disorders like hip and elbow dyslexia are much lesser. But yes, they have a lot of uh, because their scenting is good. They get lung infections. That is one. We have their dry eyes, eye uh, eye concerns with them. These are common genetic problems that they end up with. Otherwise, there is very less genetic concerns that they come. See, they are a hunter dog, so they are very strong. Okay. They they are very immune, they are very strong. So genetic disorders are much lesser because we wouldn't want a genetically uh, a dog who's got a lot of concerns doing hunting for us. It's like I have a gun that doesn't work. So what's the use of the gun? We can the gun so we can only put it on the wall, but then we can't do that for a dog. So if it's a hunting dog, then we need the best dog, the strongest dog. The so genetic disorders, other than their uh, lung infections or their uh, pulmonary infections and their eye infections, there are very less genetic disorders. Beagles end up with. Understood. Uh, before we move on to our uh, next question, I would quickly like to announce the trivia question three for the audience today. The trivia question number three is: How can you best identify a beagle? Option one by its floppy ears. Option two is by its white tail. I'll repeat the question: How can you best identify a beagle? Option one by its floppy ears. Option two is by its white tail. So all those who know the correct answer, please do type in the comments below. And as said earlier, three lucky winners who. I uh, correctly answer all the three questions. Will win Purina hamper for their dogs. Uh, so the next question, Amrit, uh, we have a question from Manu Gurd here, and he's asking: Do beagles necessarily? Just a minute, it got. Do beagles necessarily require running or evening walks, or home exercises are enough for them? Home exercises are not enough for any dog. Walks are not considered to be exercises. Walks are just walks. Because when they are walking, their nose is down on the floor and they are scenting. That is not an exercise. That's an entertainment for them. It's just, it's just like even for us, home walk or people walk around the house doesn't is never counted on your calorie burning. Similarly, for dogs, it should be a run, exact run where the head is held high up and they are running. Like we see in the dog shows, how the dogs move with the tail up and the head up, neck up. That's important. That's how running is done. That's how exercise is done, and they move fast. Beagles move fast, so they require running and just home walking, or uh, normal taking them for an evening or a morning walk would be an entertainment and a leisure to pee poo and come back. But that does not be that cannot be counted as an exercise for beagles. That can be counted as an exercise for mastiffs. So for mastiffs, they walk out 15 minutes, they finish their poop, they're tired, they'll come back home and they'll go to sleep. So that's only for them. For them, 15 minutes of twice walk is fair enough. For beagle, if they are unable to give them running, then a big open yard, couple of acres, is a must. Okay, understood. Uh, the next question that we have is from Chinmay Desai, and he's asking which brush or combs to be used to groom beagles. Metal brush for all dogs, all dogs, all horses. Metal brush because we don't want the static. What do I mean by static? We when we all were in school, we used to take our Plastic ruler, rub it on the head, and put pieces of paper in that sticks to it, and play around with it. Especially not obeying the teacher or not listening to what's happening in class. Similarly, that static on the hair of the dog will normally loosen the roots. So metal brush is always the best one, even for them. You get sharp bristles, metal brushes for beagles. That will be the best thing to groom them, because grooming also increases the blood circulation in the dog when when it's massaged on the scalp. So that's very important. Grooming them with metal brushes anytime. The next question that we have is from Nimit Jain, and he's asking that dog snores a lot. She's just one point five year old. Do I need to get her checked by a vet? 
every dog can go to dream every dog can snore so it's nothing to worry about snoring but yes if you find that she is finding it difficult during walks or during exercises to take breaths she is finding it breathless or she is coughing that is when you will have to take her to the doctor not otherwise growling does not make much of a difference and such uh, concerns if you have a behavioral somewhere around sending them a video of the same or sending your veterinary doctor the video of the same could help them to identify better because when we say uh, they 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 in the sleep whatever happens we, we would not be able to actually find out how much of growling it is doing or you know things like that so for us it could be when when somebody tells my dog bit me a beagle bit me and as they go is it did you go to the hospital no 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 nothing happened what do you mean it bit you and nothing happened He was playing with the toy. I was holding the toy. It bit, left the toy, and held my hand. And then it left my hand and held the toy. So nothing happened. So it's not a bite. It, it was a play. It's a the similar way. Such things when it's always better rather than taking your dog to the veterinary doctor, coming back with a lot of infections from the clinic. It is better you say, share a video with them and ask them to help you out with the thing. If you find it's too much, but normally it's it's a very common thing for dogs. Another question that we have, Amrit, is: Are uh, are beagles easily trained, or is there because anything more that goes into their training? They are very easily trained since they are food-driven dogs. Holding right. a piece of treat in your hand can get beagle to do anything. <laughs> that was one very very important reason re reason in the 18th century why beagles did not go, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, still remain. Because it would have become distinct much earlier when the hunting game stopped. The so caravan hounds took over beagles for hunting. They are bigger, very similar to beagles, a little bigger. So they went into hunting, and beagles was, were very less used for hunting. If not for their food-driven activity, they would have become. They, uh, they, we wouldn't have had beagles today. So the good thing is that with treats, people started using them for entertainment, circus, playing, tri tricks. Jumping, walking on two feet, jumping in the ring, and all those. So, training beagles are always easy. One, they are hyper energetic. They are food driven. Food in the hand and energy in them. You can train them to do anything you want. Understood. So, uh, before we move on to further questions, I would also quickly like to uh, uh, ask Kamrit sir to share the answer for our Purina Pro Plants contest that was posted on 14th July on their page. Uh, the question that we posted was: Guess which breed the famous cartoon character Snoopy was inspired from? So, um, sir, can you please let the audience know the correct answer to this very fun contest? It has to be Beagle. See, the the Snoopy's ears, nose itself in the in the cartoon we can make out it's a Beagle and the character of hyperactiveness. That is one way. But either which way, it was a Beagle that they had in mind when we when they came up with Snoopy. So, uh, so beagles are actually also known to be very agile dogs. Uh, how do we maintain their agility? Is it through exercises only, or do we need to keep adding some more things to it? See, if you are going to teach them agility, if you want them to be trained, this is a very, very common question. A lot of people ask me as well. So, you have an agility set up at dog school. Why don't you train our right. dogs? If it's an indoor dog, one. And we teach them agility. Till then, they only know that they can climb your sofa and come down. Teaching them agility, we are telling them that you can climb the sofa. From the sofa, you can climb the table. From there to the fan. From the fridge, and from there you can jump onto your stove. So they will analyze doing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of things. So teaching them agility is very easy. They are either way the agile dogs. Until and unless you have your own farm, land with an agility setup, that is the only place your beagle gets to do things. Teaching any breed agility and leaving them inside a closed door house is very dangerous. And even if you want to leave them outside, until and unless you have a high raised uh, wall or a compound, please do not try teaching them agility. Simple jumps in the room and in a hula hoop or something like that is fair. But then we get into professional agility. We can uh, the dog can jump out of your compound, run away. Especially beagles because they are nose driven. They find another dog who is running outside your compound or your gate. We taught them agility to go under the car, to go under right. the gate, jump on something from the, from their kennel. They'll jump onto their kennel. From the kennel, they can jump to the watchman shed. From there, they can jump outside because we've taught them jumping. Earlier, they only knew jumping. Now we've told them step by step by step where you can jump to. Yeah. You also built in confidence that you can jump eight feet. So they jump out and run away. Then it becomes difficult. Okay. 
okay okay so one more question that was coming to my mind so uh, since beagle are you know food driven dogs and then they are also uh, prone to chasing after scents doesn't it become a challenge in training them since you are you know you showed me uh, showing them a treat you are telling them to do something and they suddenly smell a scent and they just move towards it doesn't doesn't that become a challenge or a hassle it, in some way if you recollect what i told at the beginning the dog will run if the scent is more more attractive than what you have so we will be one building up the value of what we have could be a prong could be a tree could be a whatever we would not be using food as a treat there and we would have built in the value for the treat or the exercise so much that they do not get distracted for something else otherwise we are training uh, beagles for narcotic detection lot of uh, universities today in north india have approached us for drug detection dogs so there we can't obviously you know the the they taken a, a dog and they they checking a routine check in the hostel and their children playing because it's a hostel the children playing a ball we don't want the uh, we go to leave the drug and run to the ball there run to the place so we would have made that's why see play driven there food driven here distractions are less when it's with food driven so they know that we have the food and you find the scent detect the scent you get the food understood sir so we have one more question from shivali arora from pet vet page and she is asking my beagle very frequently has itching problems and then rashes all over how to handle this sterilization neutering would give its most of the time if it's a common occurring allergy skin concerns it could be harmful so a doctor would be the best decision maker but as per my experience of owning as many dogs and uh, consulting with them and uh, dealing with them sterilization has helped a lot of dogs to sort out most of their skin regular skin issues seasonal skin issues or regular skin issues it's helped them a lot so looks like we are coming to the end of the session and i would quickly like to announce the winners that we have for the trivia uh, interesting trivia contest we ran today so we have the winners for the trivia contest and congratulations to nipunya setia anu talati and priyanka you have won a gift hamper from purina pro plan india please do share your details in personal me uh, message directly to the purina pro plan page and thank you so much amrit sir for joining us and help, helping us understand so much about beagles and what actually goes into raising them training them and everything it would really really help us all in making an informed decision when welcoming a beagle into our homes perfect so it's like you rightly said this make think before making the decision then don't blame the dog later understood understood and thank you so much all the pet parents who joined us today and the ones who participated in the session and got their questions answered hope we were able to help you in some way today for more such sessions do follow purina pro plan, uh, pro plan india's facebook and instagram pages meanwhile you can watch this entire video on purina's facebook page that is purina pro plan india thank you so much and have a great evening thank you sir thank you thank you pet for organizing it thank you proplan for the idea and helping this to reach so many people that's very important thank knowledge today is very important thank you both for giving me an opportunity as well always a pleasure to have you sir thank you goodbye thank you.